so Kingdom Hearts 3 will in fact be releasing next year and it's so crazy that I can fucking say that now we fucking have the release year of Kingdom Hearts 3 some people are mistaken it for the release window but fuck it you know what everyone's hyped everyone is fucking hyped but the release window would be them putting like Q1 2018 or Q2 2018 and speaking of Q1 2018 that's when I believe Kingdom Hearts 3 will be released today I wanted to actually go in depth more with this whole 2018 coming in 2018 announcement that we got from the Toy Story trailer. So coming 2018 is still a vague way to put out, hey, this game will be releasing next year. But, but I wanted to say this, fuck all of those people who were faking like Kingdom Hearts 2 was going to come out in 2020. That fucking statement was saying that all of the games that Square Enix were developing is going to be released within the next three years, not going to be released in the next three years within the next three years meaning final fantasy 7 remake maybe 2019 the marvel ip that they're making may be 2020 but anyways fuck those people and back to the whole discussion at hand kingdom hearts 3 i believe it will be released in q1 and the reason why i'm gonna say this is because kingdom hearts 3 has already been in development for just about four years um, it's, well, it's actually more than four at this point, as far as we know, because E3 already passed for this year. So obviously, E3 was when we got the announcement for Kingdom Hearts 3 um, back in 2013. So with that being the case, it's just about been four years and a month. So obviously, Kingdom Hearts 3 at that point will already have been developed for almost five years. So once we get to that point next year that we reach March, um, yeah, by the time we reach March of 2018, the game will almost be in development for five years. And at the same time, too, we have a few things that actually is going for this Q1 release. We have the calendar in, of course, the E3 2015 trailer that matches up with March 2018. Now, putting March 2018, even though I believe the game will be slated actually in March, putting March, a uh, March 2018, like, you know, set up for the calendar there, that could just mean that the game is going to be released sometime between, like, you know, that very first day, like, um, January 1st, 2018 to March 31st, 2018. So that could be what it means. And at the same time, it could also mean that it will be released in March. Exactly. However, of course, moving on to the next thing that we have, we have the Jose Alamo leaks, which of course were done a couple months ago. And he actually said that Kingdom Hearts 3 would be releasing. I believe he did say exactly sometime around March because he mentioned that Tetsuya Nomura um, actually has a few ideas that he wanted to put in there that he can't really he doesn't really know if he'll be able to complete them however if he can't complete them because the game is slated for sometime in March of course he will dump those ideas and they'll just like you know polish the game up and they'll release the game it won't be like them taking actual content from us however it'll be like content that were that was completely opted meaning that it's completely optional content if they can finish it it'll go in there that kind of stuff is what he was talking about would probably be taken out and that stuff it doesn't really matter at this point I mean we're we're not really in those PlayStation 2 days anymore. Every console right now can have DLC, so there's no reason for us to really worry about cut content. If the cut content is going to be like Keyblades and stuff like that, I actually would love to have a Keyblade bundle package and stuff or Keyblade DLC so where we get to get old Keyblades and actually see them in a new revision to where they can actually do Keyblade transformations and stuff like that. Like, I would love to see, um, you know the keyblade that comes from out of like you know ventus terra and aqua's keyblades i would love to see their keyblades do it i would love to see the ultimate weapon do it i would love to see like you know i can't think of keyblade names right now that's why i had to actually just go with ventus terra and aqua but i can't really think of their names right now there's so many of them man but i would love to see some of the main ones because of course they have data now i believe from 1.5 plus 2.5 with that coming out on the playstation 4 and the original uh 1.5 and 2.5 coming out on playstation 3 i think they definitely will be able to collect data from of course those games if they actually did something like that to see what keyblades fans are actually playing with the most so that that way they know hey if we were to do something like this then we could actually take something like you know take that data and really get the keyblades people are mostly using and turn those into keyblades that can do keyblade transformations in kingdom hearts 3 and and sell them as a DLC so 
that's what I believe about Kingdom Hearts 3's release. I still can't believe we're finally fucking saying that Kingdom Hearts 3 will be releasing in 2018. It's like, I feel so damn blessed. I've made it to this point. Um, of course, a lot of people who've been waiting on Kingdom Hearts 3, sadly, they didn't get to make it to this point. Of course, I mean that maybe their lives have ended in tragedy. And I'm not saying I know anyone personally that's like that. But, you know, when you've been waiting on a game for a while, you know, you never know what's going to happen. Especially when it's something like Kingdom Hearts, a huge-ass story. And you know that Kingdom Hearts 3 is going to be the conclusion, at least to everything that we have established right now. As far as, like, the Master Xehanort Saga or the Dark Seeker Saga. It's like, yo, when you have people waiting for so long, man, it's honestly one of those situations to where they could have waited to announce the game and it would have just kept people, it would have kept people from, you know, like feeling like, hey, you know, I'm probably going to miss out on this and stuff like that. But it, it's a crazy deal, man. 2018, boys, 2018. If I make it there, man, you already know. If I make it to that point, bruh, I think we're going to do a 24-hour Kingdom Hearts 3 stream. I think I'll play that shit until I beat it. That's how much I can't wait to fucking get this game. I will play that shit all fucking day. Kingdom Hearts 0.2 took me three hours my first run through. No, it's about two hours and 40-something minutes my first run through. And if all of the worlds are going to last that long, you better best believe if I do a stream, that stream is not ending until we are listening to Hikaru Utada close up that fucking game and if that game has a secret ending we're gonna get that shit too but anyways this has been your boy mazia don't forget to do a little eight class gaming and everything you do don't forget to keep it eight class and we're gonna be playing kingdom hearts 3 in 2018 boys peace the heck out